Let's go straight downtown to 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell for new details on the story she first reported today at noon. Kim, what's the mayor saying tonight? I just got off the phone with a spokesperson from the mayor's office a short time ago. I'm told that the mayor just got a chance to look over these subpoenas and that the mayor says he is going to make sure that city council gets all of the information that they are asking for in these subpoenas. But city council, they say they should have got this information a long time ago. Council felt that we've been backed into a corner and the only way we can get the information we need is through a subpoena. Detroit City Council voted this morning and approved three subpoenas to be served to Mayor Dave Bing's office. They asked him for details on the city's finances. For information on legal services, the mayor called for outside of the city's attorneys and to provide information on how the mayor has and how he plans to restructure city departments. Council members say the mayor is communicating with the state on many issues, but not with them. They point out city charter requires the mayor to notify council when there are structural changes in city departments. They say even that information is not getting to them. As a result, city council members at times don't even know who is running the departments in the city they are leading. And so we're just not receiving information and the mayor and his administration is just moving forward. As, as if council does not even exist. Council members admit the subpoenas come because there has been a severe breakdown in communication and collaboration between them and the mayor's office. They say the mayor is working with the governor's office on many issues and leaving them out. University of Detroit Mercy political science professor Victoria Manzopoulos says the situation is bad for the citizens of Detroit. I think it really has detrimental effect on even businesses looking into the state and into the city. It, it really hinders our ability to to progress. Speaking to council members today, you really get the feeling that these subpoenas, they aren't just about asking for information. These subpoenas are asking for respect. I spoke to the mayor's office about whether there was any disrespect for council as council has voiced the opinion that they feel disrespected. The mayor's office had no comment on that, but said they are going to try to get all of the information asked for in these subpoenas to council as soon as possible. Reporting live in Detroit, Ken Russell, 7 Action News. All right.